My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of creating a data connection to join two different database tables and pre-populate an adaptive form with data from those tables. To begin with, let's log in to Adobe Experience Manager. I'm going to navigate first to Forms and then Data Integrations. Now here we want a form data model to use to access our database. Rather than creating a new one from scratch, I'm going to edit an existing one that we created in an earlier video called Database Connection. So I'll click on that to select it and then click the Edit button to open it up and modify it. Here I've got access to a table called Person, which includes first and last name as well as email and a person ID. If I click on this and select Edit Properties, you'll see we've got two services, a read service and a write service, which inserts a new row into our table. The read service uses an argument of person ID. This would typically be something that you would set at runtime. You would request that attribute. For our demo purposes, we're using a literal and assigning the value of one. I'm going to hit done and click save here. We'll select this service and click test model just to show you what it looks like. You can see here that it's pulling some data from our database table. What we'll do right now is add another database table to our canvas so that we can create a connection between the two tables. So I'm going to take a look at my database schemas, and I've got a schema here for AEM forms. We're already using our person table. I'm going to select this passport table, check the checkbox beside it, and then click Add Selected. So now we've added a second table to our form data model. I'm going to edit this person table once again by selecting the person object and then clicking on the add association button. Here we'll give it a title. I'm going to call this get passport number. We'll select a type. Now the passport table also has a few different fields or columns, including an ID, a person ID, and a passport number. We're going to map the person ID from our person table to the person ID in our passport table. And so for the type, we're going to select one-to-one -one because this is a one-to-one -one mapping of person ID to person ID. The model object in this case is going to be passport because that's what we're linking the person object to. And then the service is going to be a get service. Now this does require an argument, and we're going to edit the argument that's here by default, which is ID. So I'm going to click on the pencil icon to edit this argument. We'll change it from ID to person ID, because that's where our mapping takes place. We'll leave the title here as person ID, and we can change the binding type. I can set this to literal again once for our demo, but since we've already got our person table available, I'm going to click on person and choose person ID as the binding value. I'll click Done, and then Done. We'll save our changes, and once again, we'll test this. I'm going to select the person object and click on the Test Model button, and make sure we've got our model read as our model. Hit Test, and you can see now we're not only pulling this individual's first, last name, and email address, but we're also able to capture his passport number. So let's apply this to an adaptive form. We're done here with our form data model. I'm going to close the editor, and we'll navigate back to Adobe Experience Manager, Forms and Documents, and let's create a new adaptive form by clicking on Create an Adaptive Form. I'll begin again with a blank template and click Next, and we'll call this Enrollment Form. Before clicking Create, I'm going to specify the form model by clicking on Form Model, and then we'll select from Form Data Model. That's what we just created. We'll select that database connection. That's the Form Data Model that we just edited to add our new passport table. And then I'll click on Create. We'll open this up into editing mode. And here in editing mode, we can start adding our fields. Now, instead of going to the Components tab, I'm going to click on Data Model Objects to simply drag and drop our database fields onto the form. So we'll add first name, last name, email address, and we'll also add passport number. So we've added an additional field here. I'm going to edit the form properties by selecting the adaptive form component, then 
the configure button to add our data prefill data service. With our adaptive form container selected, I'm going to choose a prefill service of form data model prefill service and click on the checkbox. Now, if we preview our form, you can see that our data is automatically populated from those two different database tables, including first and last name, as well as email address, and the passport number coming from our new passport table. That's how you create a data connection and use it with an adaptive form in Adobe Experience Manager. Thanks for your time.